It was recently Australia Day, and this person was claiming here are some Australian flags that are more Australian than their actual one. I've seen a lot of different renditions of a revised Australian flag. I know this has been a topic for like a long time now. Gotta admit, it would be kind of cool to get another one in here besides this one. And I just love when flags include like different colors of them, like green or orange. It's a bit more rare to see this type of stuff. I've actually always wondered why Australia uses green and gold to represent their country. Apparently it has to do with this plant. I had no idea it had to do with a plant. I can't believe it, but this was an actual actual proposed flag for Canada. And it wasn't recent. A lot of brands I've noticed are doing like this same sort of change. But someone back in 1962 wanted to have the flag just this. By the way, is it just me or does anyone else notice all the companies changing their logos to these just really simple, boring designs? Canada's actually proposed a lot of very interesting designs in the past. We could have had the Canadian version of basically an Australian flag. That would have been kind of sad. At least this one in 1946 started putting the leaf involved in it. I do like the red one a bit better. Actually, they don't look that bad, but yeah, just the British watermark, it's tough. Michigan inn owners take down Norwegian flag after it's been mistaken for a no-no American flag. The no-no American flag that I can't even say anymore. This is why these videos are important. Like, I joke about it all the time that people get confused with that flag and Norway's. But the fact that this is actually happening in real life, like, it, it really, it just crushes me. I wish I could say this happens rarely, but honestly, there are countless examples all the time. I feel like it's only a matter of time before we cancel Norway. You're gonna have to change your flag, Norway, or else you're gonna have to delete your Twitter. Designing flags the same way as Estonia. So Estonia uses a flag that resembles an actual landscape of their country, which actually there are a few places that do this. Ukraine is also another one that comes to mind. I actually like unironically like this Japan version. That would be weird. Like these are some really weird tones to put on a flag, but it's kind of cool. And this landscape's just amazing. Same thing for Canada. You know, these flags are giving some really kind of nice, just chill vibes. Mongolia definitely works as like a legit flag. Like I could see that actually being flown. Nigeria, not bad either. We've seen like symbols put in the middle like this in this style. It's looking very Russian though in the background. These all like kind of work, even Oman. For some of the bigger places, I'm not so sure of. I mean, that's kind of weird because there's just so much you can take. I mean, the US has a lot of different looks. I mean, to have chosen this version, mm, I don't know. We're looking very Egyptian for some reason. Australia's not bad. I feel like they're about to drop like a vapor wave album though. What the hell is purple in France? What? I've never seen anything like this before. The UK is just icy. Okay, this looks. This would be. This would be good for like Iceland or Greenland. So a few weeks ago, when the capital stuff was happening, I had so many people send me the random flags they saw from the footage. There were some interesting ones. Let's just say that. I mean, some are pretty obvious. You knew that these were going to be flown. It'd be very confusing if they weren't. But then you had some outliers, like South Korea. I don't know if they were some random K-pop stands that were, you know, getting involved. Just got done listening. To BTS, now time to storm. <laughs> Then there is the flag of Georgia, which I can really only put one thing in my head that maybe somebody like Googled Amazon Georgia flag and, and they got the wrong Georgia, which is hilarious. I really hope that's actually what happened. There's this other Georgia flag, which is a little bit closer. This is not the official Georgia flag, but that is the University of Georgia's logo. But then there's possibly my favorite, a random Palau flag. That's gotta be one of the rarest flags I've ever seen. I've only seen this flag like a handful of times, just in general, not even in the wild. I'm just really confused like what are the chances this is a tiny island in the Pacific I'm, I'm just, I just have so many questions but it does get better I feel like everyone was just flying any flag they had there was also India second most populated country in the world I guess that shouldn't be that shocking but then there was the old Poland flag not not the new one an older version of a Poland flag I didn't even realize you can get some of these flags like it never got into my mind not as great as Palau but Latvia is definitely a unique one you know I did didn't know there were this many people offering a new flag for Australia. This is very kind. This VPN proxy master is proposing a weird uh, Australian Danish colony. Are they advocating for Denmark to come and colonize Australia? What would Legoland do with a massive desert, I wonder? The US flag is pretty interesting too, with all of the stars, but only some of the stripes. I actually really love when designers do this, because it happens so often. I, I feel like it's probably understandable, maybe make it simpler, but I don't think they realize just how different of a creation they make when they do this. Someone has recently pointed out some revolutionary information. Bahrain and Qatar are basically the equivalent of Austria and Latvia. They're like 
Eskimo Bros. I don't know why that's the phrase I chose to use, but that's what the first thing came to my mind. It is almost exact. Kind of terrifying. I wonder what's going on here. Never thought I'd be advocating for a union between all these countries, but you know what? Your flags are putting the idea inside my head. Australia's neighbors are also proposing new flags too. Oceania as a whole, just really messing with stuff. I do think this one's pretty cool. It's rare you see just like almost an all black flag. Once again, great design. This one from Equifax. English with the American flag. That's like the number one way to trigger the Brits. And then French with like kind of a Quebec flag. It's like a blue Canadian flag. I'm assuming is Equifax only available in North America and that's why they did this? It's the only way I can think of. Someone made a massive Welsh flag as a blanket. Out of all the flags, this has definitely got to be one of the more complicated ones. It's a lot of lines, a lot of little designs you got to do. This was not easy. If I was forced to make something like that, I would just go with this French flag. Seems simple enough. And no, that was not a France surrender joke. This was a legit flag of France in the, like the 1800s. An actual US flag with 49 stars, not 50. This this was a real life flag from 1959. So this was actually without Hawaii. And you know what? This doesn't look that bad. They just put the stars seven by seven. Hey, if some random state wants to become independent, we could bring this back. I don't mind this. Here's a US flag with 48 stars. So both before Hawaii and Alaska. This one looks okay too, I guess, but I kind of like that like alternating, alternating thingy. <laughs> flag for humanity. I almost skipped this over. I thought it was kind of cool, but I didn't realize all of the continents are designed right in there. Even Antarctica, that's how you know it's special. This Seven people living there are like so happy right now. I wonder what the fingers represent. I'm sure there's some sort of symbolism behind that too. These are some AI generated Nepal flags. You know how like there are AIs that like show flags waving? Well, Nepal's flag is obviously very different, very triangular. I don't know if the computer program could handle this. The shape's too confusing. It's just all over the place. They, oh yeah, they, they need to massively redesign. This is how we actually cause like Y2K, like all the computers to explode. Just make a bunch of different flags that aren't rectangular. All of the internet's just gonna shut down. I guess the flag of Arizona doesn't technically define the color uh, that should be used. So this is actually kind of an official flag of Arizona. This is one form of uh, something that should be able to be flown. Ah, the specific color of the copper colored star have not been set into law. So you can technically draw this star any way you want. Just put it pink, who cares? All right, this is getting into those scary levels of attention to detail. Somebody noticed that this Californian Republic, it wasn't the correct font. This R does this weird thing, but it shouldn't be doing that. I don't know. Maybe it's a manufacturer problem actually but if this was like actually in the capital that that's that's a disgrace disgusting apparently the person says that this was actually found in the state capital so california man my home state what are you gonna do apparently people are designing flags now of whether the flag has access to uv light or basically the sun if it's indoor or outdoor so you could use colors that would make it completely different if it was indoors once you put it outside it would be a different look that's just crazy to me that'd be cool to have some secondary colors on all the flags though this is the naval flag for the country of bolivia you might be wondering why this looks like it's not real. It is, but it actually makes a lot of sense why it looks like it's not real. Bolivia does not actually have access to the ocean, so perhaps that's why. The Swiss civil ensign's proportions are two by three instead of the national flag's famous square shape. The rectangle version is also used as a maritime flag. The flag of Switzerland and the Vatican City are often considered to be the only square national flags, but Bolivia's square, uh, what we just talked about, this is their second national flag. It looks like a logo for some sort of company that does color correction in like movies and stuff. A steampunk inspired world socialist republic. And I think that perfectly encapsulates what I, I feel like this world would look like. I don't know what the world would look like, but the flag looks like it would definitely represent it well. Funny seeing these realistic flags. I just can't see some of these versions at all representing the country. Like it just doesn't represent the country in, in my head. This Denmark one looks pretty cool. Mexico, that's surprising. This is actually pretty beautiful. How to differentiate world flags. This is something that always gets to me. I feel like I'm dyslexic, but with with colors and symbols. Maybe that just means I'm blind. I have made this mistake countless times. I don't even know how many times I made it. This is like a true form of dyslexia. Like I, I always get confused. Look how close these are together. Ireland and this African country, the Ivory Coast. Ireland likes green, so green goes first on their flag. Okay, so that is a good way to remember it. I make this mistake every time too. Everything is bigger in Texas, so the blue is larger in the Texan flag. That is okay. I think this is actually helping. It's also hard to like try to just look at the saturation of the different colors or the different tones because everyone puts different tones on colors depending on where it is and stuff. Poland, Monaco, and Indonesia. I still forget that Poland
Poland is like this because of all the country balls that we review and they intentionally do it the reverse way. That's like a part of the comics design. Poland is the only one of these three who has red on the bottom. Monaco has the smaller flag because they are a small country. Indonesia has a more saturated red flag. I think I can remember that, maybe? You guys are in the same continent. Like you guys can't do so similar designs. Come on now. I recently just figured out my own way. I mean, if I see red in the New Zealand flag, then I know it's definitely not Australia. New Zealand is a smaller country, so they have less stars. Okay, I guess that's one way. I was also thinking like, if it doesn't have the massive star right here, that looks like it could possibly like, oof you. That represents all of the Australian wildlife, maybe? I don't know, I'm just trying to help out. And if you're trying to figure out the difference between Chad and Romania, you're screwed. You got no chance. There's just, there, yeah, it ain't gonna happen. I think Romania does have a bit more saturation in the middle color. Still love that Elon brought attention to this very crucial issue. We gotta figure this out. You know what? They should just become the same country and uh, fix the universe, honestly. Call them Chad Romania. That sounds so epic anyways. Either that or Romania, you're just gonna have to throw like a vampire icon on your flag. That would work too. And big thanks to the January patrons. All in like stalling. Aryan after hours. Easter123. Elijah Senpai. Epi Nick. Fusion Wolf. Julius Cheezer. Lennon Lover. 419. Luxembourg Lover. Mac. Manny Manny 74. Space Period. Patrick C. Palofsky. Roll C Tree. Stormtrooper 501. And Clevin. Thank you. Link to the Patreon is in the description down below.